All right, what is going on, everybody? Nice to see you all today. Uh, I got great news. Today is not a doom and gloom video. No, I got kind of tired of just always talking about shit that pisses me off. So I thought I'd go back to my roots and and do a Darth News feel good story, you know? Or it's 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 almost borderline like wacky news story, but we'll just blend the two. Yeah, like transgenders. <laughs> And welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate you. I appreciate the view. And I would appreciate you just a little bit more if you'd hit that like button. Now that I've said that, we can dive into today's story. What do you mean if... Whoa, 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 hold on. What do you mean if somebody doesn't want to like the video? Everybody likes the video. This, this... Wait, what? Who? Who? Which person? But this guy, you did you fucking dislike this video? Well, you better un unlike it right now. Well, today's story is about a woman who gave birth in the back seat of her Tesla while that motherfucker was on autopilot. Her husband is in the back seat, like, don't worry, baby. Elon's got it. Elon's. It, it, Are you kidding? I can't have the baby in the car. Just breathe, baby. Just push, push. <sighs> Push, breathe, breathe, breathe. I am not giving birth in a Tesla. It'll, it'll be a great story. It'll be a great story. But honey, honey, who's driving the car? Don't, don't worry about it. Just keep breathing. <laughs> There's nobody behind the wheel. God, God's behind the wheel. It's it's all good. Just, <laughs> there you go. Oh, I see the head. I see the head. You get the point. Fucking crazy. I mean, I don't know if this is a first, but it feels like this might be a first. I think this is like, uh, this is a first. <laughs> Let's go ahead and read this story and see what really happened. Applejack. Hit it! Well, all right, all right, all right. Today's article is brought to us by the Washington Examiner. They say a mother gives birth to a Tesla baby while the vehicle drives on autopilot. That's right, one Pennsylvania baby was born with a lot of drive. Quote, Tesla baby, as nurses call her, was born in Philadelphia while her mother was in a Tesla that was driving itself on the Tesla autopilot system. Yaran Cherry was getting her son Rafa ready for school at roughly 8.30 a.m. on September 9th when her water broke. She told her husband Keating to take Rafa to school and then come back and get her. Uh, I looked into this. It was just December 9th. They got that wrong. Uh, I knew, she told the Philadelphia Inquirer regarding her contractions late September 8th. I said to Keating, today's the day, but I don't think it's happening anytime soon. Keating Sherry was driving a Tesla, which comes with autopilot, allowing him to focus on delivering his daughter as his wife is in labor. His wife's contractions were a minute apart as they sat in rush hour traffic. Should I push or should I hold? Yaren and Sherry thought right before deciding to push. The newborn was already out by the time the two reached the hospital. The nurses then immediately rushed to the scene where they cut the umbilical cord right in the car. Though Sherry's name, uh, though Sherry named their daughter Maeve, uh, they said that they considered naming the girl Tess in reference to her birthplace. That would have been kind of cute. Uh, but baby Maeve and Yuran are doing fantastic, Keating Sherry told people on Thursday. Well, that's good. See, see, Darth, Darth can tell you a good feel good story. Uh, to be honest, I don't know if I would have put the life of three people in the hands of um, an autopilot system, you know, the mother, the father, and the newborn. I mean, I mean, have you seen what happens to a Tesla when when they, when they explode on an autopilot when they like have an accident? Have you seen what happens, dude? There is no surviving it. There's no crawling out of a Tesla. You're engulfed in fire. But I mean, uh, I guess this is definitely one way to get some some good PR for your for your autopilot system. I I, I wonder if uh, Elon's going to reach out to these people. I bet you I bet you he's going to reach out or tweet about it or something. Anyway, uh, let's get to it. I mean, I got to double check the Tesla stocks because I'm pretty sure they went up just a little bit. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, I really wouldn't be surprised if Elon Musk reaches out to them or, I mean, gives them like free Teslas for life or something. You know, I mean, if you're the living proof that Teslas are safe enough to give birth in the backseat in while it's on autopilot, if it's not a testament to how safe its autopilot systems are, then I don't know what is. This has to be like a great marketing tool, which, well, it, it, it kind of markets itself, but Elon should totally utilize this. Just make some kind of meme, a joke, you know. Yeah, I, I know, I know. We, we don't like Elon, but but we do. We do. We do. When it comes to Johnny Depp, we hate him because he's, he's he's a piece of shit. But but he's trying to save the world, so we have to cut him some slack. Well, that's gonna do it for this week's feel good story. Thank you so much for tuning in. But if you want to stay tuned in just a little bit longer, we're gonna dive into some Darth News overtime. So if that interests you, stick around. It's free. 
Well, it costs you your time, which is priceless. You can't really put a, a price on someone's time. I guess you could. Minimum wage, 50, yeah. But that, that's why I don't understand people that work for minimum wage. You're really gonna sell your time? The only time you have? You're gonna whore yourself out for 15 bucks an hour? I, I get it, I get off topic sometimes. Now you're probably wondering, what are we gonna be discussing in Darth News Overtime? What's gonna be the topic? Well, I'm not trying to sound like a, like a, I don't know, like a, like a bitch, yeah. But you know, once in a while, I feel like I have to respond to my subscribers that maybe disagree with me in the comments or what, or maybe if it's just a troll that just wants to talk shit in the comments, I'll just call them out just because it's fun. But this, this, this is not to call out anybody. This is just to explain myself. I want to, I, I want to respond in video format to your comment. So think of that as like a, a compliment. And by the way, who this subscriber is is not important. I'm going to leave him anonymous, okay? Um, but I'm going to read this comment, and I'm going to respond to it. Respectfully, of course. I'm not, I'm not here to start a fight. Just to, you know, I'm, I, I, want to, I want to explain myself. I want to have a chance to uh, d defend myself, or at least give reasoning as to wh why I believe the things I do when it comes to um, drag. Now, it's been a long-running joke since I started this channel that I'm a, I'm a homophobe, a racist, a misogynist, a, a bigot, and, and especially a transphobe. It's a running joke because I'm none of those things. Oh, but Darth, you've said so many things that were so homophobic. Well, yes, if you take it out of context. I don't walk around my daily life going to Starbucks, you know, dropping gay jokes to the, to the barista. I save it for here, and they're jokes. But recently I've been hearing a whole lot of, Darth is a transphobe. Now, the definition of transphobe is uh, you're afraid of trans people. That means you have a fear of them. You have a fear of drag queens, drag phobia, whatever. I'm not afraid of them. I'm not afraid of really anybody. Like, I have no <laughs> fear of gay people or trans. I don't fear that they're going to take over the world. I don't fear that they're going to hurt me. I, I don't fear that, like, I'm going to catch the trans, you know, disease. I know, it's not a disease. It's, it's a mental disease. So I'm not a transphobe. I just have certain beliefs when it comes to infringing your ideologies onto our children. Okay? As grown-ups, you can do, be, whatever the fuck you want. And, and I hope nobody stops you. And I pray that you achieve whatever it is you set out to be. All I ask is you just don't indoctrinate children. Oh, but Darth, parents indoctrinate their kids all the time. They take them to church, they indoctrinate them to what to believe, what to think, what political... Eh. Yeah, that's, that's true, that's absolutely true. But parents are just that, parents. And they have the right to parent their kids however they want. They can make their kids believe whatever they want when they grow up, as they grow up. That's their job as a parent. It's not your job to teach my kids that. If, if I want to teach my kids that, then I'll, then I'll teach my kids whatever it is you're teaching, if I wanted to teach them. I'm not, I don't need you to do it, especially without my permission, especially when it comes to the sexualization of children. Oh, wow, look. Whoa. Whoa, the sexualization. Whoa. I feel like Wally. -E. No. Wait, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I smoked way too much marijuana. Okay, so back to the original comment that I'm referring to. This person is not calling me a transphobe, just to be clear, okay? But there's been a lot of sentiment around Darth being transphobic, and it's just not true. Um, so I'm not saying that this individual is saying I'm transphobic, no. And, and, and the comment isn't even, it's not a mean comment. It's actually a, a thoughtful comment. I just think it's thoughtful in the wrong direction. No offense. So let's read it. Okay, so a subscriber of mine commented the following. Who it is doesn't matter. I just want to read what they said. Uh, in reference to my last video about um, drag queens in, in churches and reading to kids and shit. Anyway, um, they say, is it promoting or is it allowing the love of diversity to grow in people from a young age? I usually agree with you, Darth. I agree that pedos should be castrated, sliced and diced, but drag isn't a kink. Drag is a way of life. Maybe it's a kink for some, but for the whole, it's a way of life for them. The majority of drags are not pedos. I mean, if someone can't feel safe in church to be themselves, dot, dot, dot. Okay, lots to say. Lots to say in a very short amount of time to say it. So, uh, okay, so let's start off with this. Drag is not a kink. Yes, it is a kink. It's absolutely a kink. It's a sexual kink. Okay, that's 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 what it that's what it is. 
I've lived in California. I've lived in San Francisco for many years, long enough to know what drag is and what it isn't. And drag is a sexual kink. How do I know that? Well, let's we'll start with this. I worked at Supper Club, which was a drag queer bar that I worked every fucking day, basically, to pay my way through college. So I was around plenty of drag all the time. It was like a dinner and a show. Like you see, you like lay down on these comfy beds, these big mattresses and like drag, like bring out like your food and like your, your drinks. And then like, there's like a whole drag show and there's like a burlesque drag show. And it's, it was a whole thing. And they were great people. Don't get me wrong. They're great people, wonderful people. And I, and I know they're not pedophiles, but I still wouldn't want any of them near my kids. I mean, I get it. Okay. I know that majority of drag queens are not pedophiles, but there's already been convicted pedophiles who were caught hosting drag queen story hour at these libraries and they were called out for it convicted pedophiles having little kids sit on their laps while they're in full drag so I, i'm just not taking my chances you know like what parent would want to do that i mean even if you believe that they're like the, the purest of intent all right they're just a good old jolly santa claus drag person right even if they're giving off all the good vibes in the back of my mind, I'm wondering if in the back of that person's mind, they're gonna remember my kid go home and jerk off to it. I'm all about teaching the kids love and diversity and acceptance, just not like this. It's not up to you to teach my kids that. That's my job as a parent, it's your job as a parent. And just to drive my point home that drag is for adults only. Oh, you don't believe me? Figured. Did you vote for Joe Biden? Figured. If you're one of those people that's like, nah, -uh, Darth, drag is for everybody. It's for all ages. You're wrong. And I can prove it. Go to Google. And can you do that? Go to Google. Google this. Google any upcoming drag show anywhere in this nation or your country or whatever. They are all 18 or older to enter. All of them. Why? Simple. It's for fucking adults, not children. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. Support me on Patreon, my merch store, Cash App, whatever. I'm demonetized. I'm happy in your company with no emotion, cause my love deserves to be free. I never wanna look at a house in the garden, I never wanna lock you down. I know you're not mine, it's just my turn, but we can still have fun for now.